In this short series of videos, we're going to be looking at using design variations to create a driveway layback shape. This could also be used for pram crossings. You can see in the drawing here that we've actually made the change to the top of curb code and in conjunction with looking at this in model viewer it gives a bit more context as to what's happening. We're actually taking the top of curb code and positioning more or less on top of the invert code with a 30mm lip and then with this wing we're also making sure that the back of curb code is pushed out and there is an elevational change here. We're then maintaining that all the way through the width of the driveway until we get back to the last wing or taper where we're actually restoring the codes back to their original positions. There's also some variations which control the footpath. Before we get started here, we need to ensure that we have sample lines at the location of where we want to make changes to the curb codes. With this example, we're just going to open up the toggle display form by right clicking on CSD surfaces in tool space, sample lines, choosing our road and clicking OK. If I'm going to apply variations and make changes at these nominated locations, you need to have sample lines. Now, there are two ways that you can do this. You can either manually add, and we're going to just go over to this driveway here, which we're going to edit in a second. You can either manually add in extra sections at nominated locations by using the add single change button and clicking your way through the driveways or you can actually resample your road and have the software pick up these particular spots for you. So to show you how this works I'm going to right click on road E and use resample sections. In here we've got our standard sampling every 10 meters. If you head down to the Use Layers button, you can go ahead and pick a layer that contains lines. So this is not polylines, each one of these is a line element. And ask it to search 6 meters in this case, left and right of the center line of your main string, which in this case is here. And then add the layer to the sample sections list and making sure that it includes the originals in the background. When we click Apply and Exit and click OK, you'll now see that we're getting extra sampling added in at every single, even on the south side here, you can see that wherever that layer is, is occurring, we're now getting sample positions, which means that when I go in and add my design variations, I don't have to go in and insert sections manually. I know that they've already been picked up for me. Worth uh, mentioning this, do not go in and explode all of your line work. Probably recommended that you copy using maybe the copy layer function, copy the layer to a, new, a brand new layer and explode that one instead. So you've still got your original layers with polylines if you need them. Let's now have a look at the design data form. 